Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Technix Media. Today we are going to tell you about some of the tips and tricks and some hidden options and uh, some of the hidden features basically about Windows Phone 7. We have Nokia Lumia 510 with us. This is the most budget device uh, uh, which comes as a Windows Phone basically from Nokia and it is priced below 10,000 Indian rupees. So you can easily get this phone for much less than 10,000 from the market and considering the price it has a very big display size that is around 4 inch uh, however the quality of the display is not very good but it is quite okay at this particular price and apart from this so basically we will uh, talk about some of the tips and things some of the things which we noticed about this phone while using it this is the review from Nokia uh, for your information it has got a 5 megapixel camera at the back and there is the loudspeaker over here then you have regular buttons which is uh, the camera shutter key, the power and sleep key, the volume rocker on the top you have the 3.5mm audio jack on the left side you have nothing there is a little indent to open the back cover here is the micro USB port and if you remove this back cover basically you will see the battery which is 1300 mAh uh, this is the Nokia BP3L battery which is 1300 mAh and it gives a power backup of around one day. It doesn't have a memory card slot so you can't increase the storage of this phone. This phone comes with 4 GB of internal storage out of which around 1.13 GB is actually available to the user for installing applications and it comes with 256 MB of RAM which is quite low for a phone of this display size. So. Uh, let's talk about the over tricks which we noticed basically while using this phone. Uh, first of all, we will start off with uh, these applications which are there. Uh, let me just show you something that is, if you have the device in the lock state and if you want to wake, wake up the device, you can actually press the camera shutter key for one or two seconds and it will uh, wake up the device with camera application launched. So this is how you can actually launch the camera application quickly even when your Nokia Lumia 510 is actually is in the lock state and you actually need to enable this setting under the camera uh, options. Let me just show you. So in, for this you will need to first of all go into pictures. Let me just show you. Yeah. Here you need to go into pictures and then you need to go into settings by clicking these three dots over here. You need to go to settings. Under settings you have this option of press and hold the camera button to wake up the phone as you can see over here and this is how you can wake up the phone if you have the setting on. Apart from this you can always uh, turn, off, turn on this particular setting that is preventing accidental camera launch when the phone is locked. So basically it will not launch the camera when the phone is locked state if you enable this option. You still will be able to launch the camera application by pressing the camera shutter key when the device is not locked. Apart from this, you can always include the location information for the, with the pictures you like. So basically, whatever pictures you are going to capture with the camera on this phone, it will save the location information if you have this option on. And then you have the location information on the uploaded pictures as well, which you can disable over here. Uh, you can quickly, quickly share all the photos which you have captured on this device on SkyDrive and around 7 GB of free storage comes with this particular phone as an offer uh, from Nokia and if we another thing which we would like to show you is that when you are in the camera UI let me just again launch the camera UI so here we are in the camera UI and if you actually want to take a picture of anything uh, you can actually do it by just tapping on the screen the camera will focus and it will take the picture so basically if there is an object uh, wait. So let us suppose that we want to take the photo of my iPhone 4 and if we tap over here it will focus and take the picture. The overall quality of the camera is pretty good when it comes to proper lighting but for low light this camera doesn't behave pretty well uh, as far as the pictures which we have talked about. We have already done a separate review for the camera. It has got 5 megapixels. This phone has got 5 megapixel camera 
with no flash anywhere so basically it will definitely have problem when it comes to low light apart from this if we show you some of the settings uh, that is one another thing which we noticed is the calculator this is how the normal calculator looks like but if you rotate the phone to the landscape mode you will see the scientific calculator come into effect on this device without any effort from the user side so this is something which we noticed and which we like basically another thing is the calendar view uh, right so this is how the calendar view looks like you can change it to the agenda view to do of the day and all those things so this is right now synced up with the live calendar and if you want to have a month kind of a view which you normally see on other smartphones then you can tap over here and then it will show you the month view as well as the day so right now the date and time is not properly set on this device so it is showing november apart from this if we come out from this okay if we come out and you do have an application which is called the contact transfer which actually allows you to do the contact transfer from any other android phone or from iphone or from any other phone which does support the transferring of contacts via bluetooth so you can use this application to actually transfer the contacts from bluetooth this is again quite good uh, if in case you are switching from any other end phone to this phone and then you have help in how to which you can access this is an online option so if only this will be only useful if you have the device connected to internet because all the help in how to are actually located online and they will be only opening when you have the device connected to internet and these how to basically explain you the basics of the phone how you can use people plus email and how you can actually tap on any picture of a person and then mail uh, send a mail or do things like that we will just show you how to do that uh, so basically then you have internet explorer uh, the internet explorer which comes from this device is pretty good uh, when it comes to browsing however it does lack some options like incognito mode and other things which you normally see in other phones if we go into the settings of this thing then you do have the option of allow cookies you can clear the history as well here uh, from the settings in this particular browser and then you can specify the website preference that whether you want to load a mobile version website or a desktop version website whenever you uh, try to load a website in this particular browser so you can specify the preference over here even if the website has a mobile version and you want to see the desktop version you can do that just by changing the preference over here apart from this we go into the messaging application here is the messaging application which is actually a kind of a messenger which works with facebook windows live and uh, as an sms as well so basically you will have threaded kind of sms over here in this particular application and then you can specify from which account you want to see the messaging and then you can have all these options of sms delivery on or off you can turn on the sms delivery just like any other phone which you have then you can have a uh, acknowledgement of the mms if you want to send some sms mms from this phone and you want to have the acknowledgement you can also specify this sms center number just like you do on any other normal feature phone uh, 